guys, long time no talk. I haven't made a video since my January favorites, and it is now March. And I'm sorry, that's actually a huge problem. Um, but I am back again, and today I will be doing a uh, tutorial on this look. This is my everyday neutral makeup. I have been loving this. I'm wearing it every single day, and it just it looks awesome. And I am here to show you on how to achieve this look. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you like it. And I'm going to stop chit-chatting and get into the video. Okay, so today we're going to want to start off with a primer. And the primer I have been loving is the Smashbox Photo Finish uh, Primer Water. Looks like this. And as you can tell, I almost used the whole thing. So I will be purchasing a new bottle probably next week. So common sense, you want to take off the cap and you're just going to spray it on your face. Okay. And that stuff helps your makeup glide on so smoothly and it really does just help it last all day and I absolutely love it. And you just want that to dry a little bit because you don't want to put your foundation on it while it's still wet because it defeats the purpose of the primer. Um, then after it's dry, you want to go in with your favorite foundation. The one I have been using lately for my super natural looking looks is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. I'm sure if you guys have seen this, I have, there's tons of people raving about this. And I really do love this. It's not completely full coverage, so it does kind of give you that more natural look. And this is awesome if you have dry skin. I do have normal to oily skin, but not like terrible because some days I do have dry skin. But if you have dry skin, this will be awesome because it just does give you that super natural dewy look. So we're going to go ahead and just pump that onto the back of our hands. I do about two and a half pumps. And then... What I've been doing lately, because I kind of um, messed around with some self-tanner, I am a little bit orange and darker in random spaces, as you can tell. So what I've been doing is I picked up the new uh, Benefit Do The Hula Liquid Bronzer, and I just put um, two pumps of this in there, and I mix it up, and it just gives you the perfect shade, and it is awesome. Okay, so once you're done with that, if you even had to do that, probably not, you're just going to go ahead and you're just going to dot your foundation like you normally do when you apply your makeup all right and then once we look a little bit ridiculous we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start to blend out our foundation what I have been loving lately is the real technique foundation brush I'm sure you guys have seen this at the drugstore before or you can also use the beauty blender because don't get me wrong, I still love a beauty blender. So either way, you're just going to go ahead and you're going to start to blend out your foundation. Okay, so once you're done applying your foundation, you want to go in with a concealer. This is optional, but if you're going for a natural look, I think you really do want concealer because you get to highlight your face and it just makes it look super natural and the light shines off of you in all the right spots. Um, I am still using my favorite drugstore uh, concealer. It is the Master Conceal by Face Studio Maybelline, and this stuff is awesome. I absolutely love it. And every little goes a long way with this. So what I do is I just put some on my finger. And we're going to go ahead. And I used to put like a ton under my eyes. And now I just put three little dots kind of in a side of a triangle motion. And we just do that. And then whatever's remaining, I put that on my nose. And then I take a little bit more and I just put it on my forehead. Or a little bit on my chin. Because that's the spots that we want to look super highlighted and glowy and then after that you're gonna go in with your beauty blender if I could find it okay so it's literally sitting behind me and I feel really dumb right now so anyway you're just gonna go ahead and you're gonna blend out your concealer like you normally would and I like to personally I use a beauty blender for any foundation I have it's the only way I like to apply it and sometimes I do apply it with my fingers but I'll be using the beauty blender today oh my god the beauty blender sorry I can't talk and you want to make sure when you apply um, concealer underneath your eyes that you're going back and forth because we do not want it to crease. 
we wanted to blend right in and look super natural. Okay, and that is it for the concealer. Now we're going to go into our powders and our bronzers and our blushes and all the fun stuff. Okay, for my powder, I will be using the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte Powder. Um, it says it's a 16-hour powder, and it's not kidding. This stuff is awesome. I just raved about it in my January favorites, and it's awesome. And I think after this video, I'm going to pick up a new one because I have definitely hit pan, and I, I love this. It's just great. It's everything you want in a powder. And I love it with this because this does make me look a little bit too oily for my comfort with this foundation. But this stuff together is just beautiful and it's awesome and I couldn't ask for anything better. So I'll be going in with the same old brush I use for my powder in every video. It's the um, Earth Therapeutics Kabuki brush. I don't know why. It's my favorite to apply my powder with. And we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to dab it all over our face. Okay, and I think it just gives a super beautiful natural finish. And then my favorite part is the contouring. And today I will be using the Hoola Benefit Bronzer. I forgot how much I actually love this bronzer because lately I've been using my Too Faced Cocoa Powder. But this stuff is amazing and I got really inspired to use it when I started using the Liquid Hoola that just got released and this stuff is awesome. Um, it makes me a little orange right now if I use it as a bronzer, but in the summer it will be beautiful. So then it inspired me to pick this back up and use it again because I forgot how much I loved it. It really is one of the best high-end bronzers out there in my opinion. And the packaging is just so summery and cute. It just, I'm excited to use it every time I use it. So we're going to go in and I will be using um, the same old brush I always use to contour. And it is the e.l.f. Angled Blush Brush. But I use it as a contour brush and I think it just gives you a super awesome sharp contour. So we're just going to go in and we're going to contour and just blend it out. I have it, but I feel I really should start with this on my face. So I'll be working on that, guys. I'm sorry. contour looks on camera sometimes because it looks super like unblended and just really like thick and dramatic and it does not look that way all in the mirror and it drives me nuts because it looks so good in person but on camera it's just like what are you doing girl like no so what I usually do is I just go over it a little bit if it does look a little bit too much I just go over it with the powder a little bit and it just kind of helps blend it out and make it a little bit more natural I think that looks really good and then we're going to put a little bit of it on our forehead we just want to put a little bit on the brush and just tap it off and we're just going to go on our hairline and blend it out And then for blush, I will be using, I am not sure what the shade is. It's in my um, Parquet Princess by Tarte palette. And I will be using this. It's like a super dusty rose. And I will be using my e.l.f. blush brush. And I will just be putting this on my cheeks, obviously, because where else do I put blush? See, I remember to put it on this side first because it, I just always forget. It's just a habit to start over here. And this is a, a super, super, super natural um, blush. I usually go for really dramatic blushes, but lately I've been loving the super natural ones. Right. 
Okay, and that's that. And then after this, we will be moving on to our brows. So for my eyebrows recently, I have been using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. So I just wanna go ahead and just spoolie them out like you normally would on a daily basis. Okay, so for eyes, I'll be going ahead with the Morphe 350 palette. Um, this palette, honestly, I think is the best if you want to go for a super neutral and natural looking eye. As you can see, it is all neutrals in here. And this palette is just fantastic. I'm really starting to get um, in the hang of it because before it was really, really out of my comfort zone. But now I have been loving it. And it's always a tough decision to pick what colors you want to use in this palette honestly but for a fact I will be going in with this elf blending brush it's just a super um, fluffy looking brush like this and it's awesome if for a super quick and easy makeup and with this one right here I wish they had names but they don't it is the second one in the second row and I'll be going ahead and just start putting this in your crease So I always like to go ahead and get a super light color that just is almost similar to your skin tone just because it helps the other colors blend and glide on so much smoother. And with this look, we don't want any sharp edges. So super kind of fluffy, I guess, if you want to say. Just like super, just kind of loose and just kind of wing it, honestly. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye. And then I will be going in with this one over here is the fourth one in the second row. And I'm just going to be repeating the exact same thing as I just did. This just kind of deepens up a little bit more to get that nice transition shade. Alright, and then I will be going in with this one right here. It is the second one in the third row. Oh, sorry if you can't see that. And this one you want to keep it lower and keep it more in the crease. Because you do not want to blend this one up high like the other ones. If you do accidentally bring it up too high, just go ahead and blend it out and you could definitely make it still workable. Okay, and then after that, you want to go ahead with this one. This one's a super beautiful, like, chocolate brown. It's the second one in the fifth row. Yep, fifth row. This one right here, and you go ahead and do the same thing with this one. I feel like this is the one that just kind of brings the whole look together. And this one you can blend it just a little bit higher. So this one just kind of deepens the whole look. Okay, and then 
after this, I will be taking the very first color over here, and I will be putting this right on my brow bone. Because you always want to highlight our brows when they're looking on point. And this also helps and kind of you have a little bit of a harsh line with your eyeshadow. This also helps kind of almost as an eraser, honestly, to kind of erase those harsh lines and just blend it out. And it works absolutely awesome. So that's just a little trick. If you um, if you can't get it to be super blended, it looks like a harsh line, just when you go to highlight your eyebrows, just kind of blend it out and it looks awesome. And there's no more harsh lines. Alright, and now I'm going to switch eye brushes, and the thing I love about this look and this brush is that I use this brush for like five eyeshadows, and it's super quick and easy, and that's why this is my everyday eye makeup recently, because it's been so fast. Um, and then after that, I'll also be taking, this is just the e.l.f., I think it's the blending brush, not the eyeshadow brush, and I have some eyeshadow on there still, sorry. But I will be going in with this color right here. Um, it's in the third row, and it's the second to last. And I'll be taking this one just putting this on my eyelid because I do like to have a little bit of shimmer no matter what. And we're just going to go ahead and just put this all over the eyelid. And lastly, I will be taking this little, this is not even a name for it, it's just a super small e.l.f. makeup brush. And I will be taking this color right here is the, the fifth one in the first row. And I will be putting this underneath my waterline just to kind of smoke it out a little bit. Alright, now we are done with the eyeshadow, we're going to move on to our line, eyeliner, mascara, eyelashes, and all that fun stuff. Okay, so for eyeliner, you guys are going to be amazed. This is the first time in a long, long time I am not using the Kat Von D liquid tattoo liner. I am just using the Maybelline New York Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner. Honestly, this is the first gel eyeliner I've ever bought. I've always used liquid eyeliner, and I realized I need to experiment with other eyeliners besides the Kat Von D tattoo liner. So um, what you want to do is you're going to take this, I'm sure you guys have all seen this, I'm pretty sure everyone owns this, and you're just going to put it on your brush that it comes with, and I'm just going to do a very thin line, just tracing my lash line. That's all I'm going to be doing for eyeliner. As you see, it's just super natural and really does get, make your eye look a lot bigger. Okay, and that is it for the eyeliner. We're going to go ahead and do mascara real fast before we put on our fake eyelashes. Um, I will be using the Benefits They're Real. I'm sure you guys have all seen this because this is one of those mascaras that everyone just loves. Like, I can't find anything wrong with this mascara. This is just a little sample size because I lost my full size one and I'm really mad, but whatever. You gotta do what you gotta do. So, just going to go ahead and just apply this normally. And you don't have to make it crazy because we are applying fake eyelashes. But if you are not, go ahead and apply as much as mascara as you please.
Okay, and that's it for the mascara. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply the fake eyelashes, but I'm going to do it off camera because I am still perfecting the fake eyelashes. I just can't get them to glide on super easily right away. So I'm going to go ahead and do it off camera, and then we'll go ahead and finish this look on camera once I'm done with that. Okay, so as you can see, the eyelashes just really pull the whole look together. It just makes it look absolutely gorgeous, and I love it as I say I love everything because I do I just love everything well anyway I'm gonna stop talking all we have left to do for this look is to finish our highlight in our lips I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the highlight um what else should I be using besides the Jaclyn Hill champagne pop level palette champagne pop palette whatever the name is I keep mixing that up every time I film I don't know why well anyway we'll be going in and I have been loving mixing champagne pop and pearl it gives you a so super gorgeous and not dramatic, just a super vibrant um, highlight and I absolutely love it. So we're just going to go ahead and mix those two and go ahead and apply that. And give this video a thumbs up if you're excited that Champagne Pop is a permanent item because now our highlights will forever be on fleek. I mean, come on, look at that. That's that's a nice highlight. That's a That's a beautiful highlight. This isn't the best brush for me to highlight with, so I have to blend it out a bunch to make sure I don't have, like, super, um, harsh lines. And we'll go ahead and mix them again and go ahead and put it on the other side. And that is absolutely gorgeous, and I just, I love highlighting my face. And then I just, I'm just going to take Champagne Pop by itself and just do it on the bridge of my nose real fast. Because we all love to have a super glowy center of our face because it's just absolutely gorgeous. Well, anyway, that is it for the highlight. So we're going to go ahead and jump into lips. Um, this is my favorite nude lipstick. I use it every single day, as you can tell when I open it. Um, this is Darling Nude Matte. Um, I don't know what the name of these lipsticks are, but they are my favorite. They look like this. And I love the matte line. They have gorgeous colors. This color just looks like this. It's very similar when I put it on to my normal lips. But it just gives it super... I don't know what the word I'm looking for, but it just makes your lips look 10 times better. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to overline my lips or anything today. I'm just going to apply my lipstick like I normally do. And for this look, it doesn't have to be this lipstick. You can use any nude lipstick you want. or even This look even look gorgeous with a red lip, honestly. So just do whatever you're feeling. Okay, and then... Today, because uh, yeah, I am going to go run a few errands, I am going to do a lip gloss. And this is the Buxom um, lip gloss in the color Nicole. These are awesome. They are super minty and just kind of make you feel very clean all day because they are so minty. And I absolutely love them. And it doesn't, it's not super pigmented. Like, it does not come out this color at all. This is a very sheer it's like the perfect lip gloss. It's a perfect sheer gloss. It was just a tint of color and it's absolutely awesome. And I feel like these are going to be awesome in the spring because they do have a little bit of shimmer in them. And they are absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. As you can tell, it does not make your lips super red. It kind of honestly with this lipstick, it just kind of made me like... More of just a mauve gloss, like it looks very still natural, and as you can see, it like I said, it wasn't very red. It just adds a tint of red and kind of mixed in with the lipstick, and it just made it very mauve, and I love it. And my lips feel so good right now because of that mint, and that's my favorite thing in a lip gloss or a lipstick. If it leaves your lips feeling minty, it is the best feeling. So this concludes our look today. Um, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and you subscribe. I'm pretty sure there's a subscribe button in this corner because I finally got a little logo down there and it's super exciting. So go ahead like and do that. There will be more videos coming your way. I'm sorry I haven't been filming that much. Every time I start getting into filming videos, something happens and I get super busy. But I will be getting back on track and I feel a bunch of lookbooks coming because the weather in Chicago is getting pretty nice. Okay, peace out guys.